This video is part of a series where we create a dynamic door block step by step. And in the final part we'll list all the blocks in the drawing and export them to Excel. First, I create the block. I'll need a dimension whose value I'm going to use later. Optionally, there can be more of them, but they will be hidden. Since I drew in millimeters, I set the dim scale linear value to 0.1 to get centimeters. I define an attribute for the dimension label, and I lock its position. This will be the door type, placed in the center of the circle, so I set the justification to middle center. With the spacebar I repeat the command, this one will be the door size. Except for the tag and prompt, all settings remain the same as last time. Now I use the insert field button. I choose the objects category, then object. I click on the dimension and select the measurement property. In the preview it still doesn't look right, so I adjust the format here. Rotation can only be set in this step. I also need to add one more attribute, the door height. For this I don't use insert field, because it will be entered manually. In the next part, I'll create the parameters. Thanks for watching.